Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. For those of you joining us online and on Facebook, um, on behalf of Manila House, this is Bambina Olivares, the Director of Programming, welcoming members and non-members alike to today's online conversation presented in partnership with Life Science called Mapping the Mind. If this is your first time to join us online, allow me to introduce Manila House. We are a private members club that opened in February 2017 with the aim of bringing together an assemblage of people from the business, creative, cultural, and intellectual communities who are drawn to each other by a shared interest to continuously learn about art, culture, food, business, and politics, and from the diversity of their fellow members themselves. It is a community of curious, committed, and caring individuals that lives on beyond the confines of the club. We began our webinar series in May 2020, covering and encouraging discussion about a range of topical issues from business and investment to health and wellness and arts and culture. We have featured both local and international speakers and continue to broaden our reach among members and non-members alike. Our previous webinars are available for viewing on the Manila House YouTube channel. That said, for the non-members among us, you might like to consider membership to Manila House. We have a limited number of memberships still available. Please email membership at manilahouseinc.com for more information. And please be informed that Manila House, in compliance with the allowable IATF and LGU capacities, now increased to 100% for indoor dining, is open to fully vaccinated members and their guests. And our takeaway service is open to the public. Please call us on 0917-816-3685 to place your orders. And to our members who have yet to visit our newest space, Luna Lounge, please come by and see this very beautiful room. Before we begin, just a few ground rules. This event is being recorded and live streamed and will be up on the Manila House YouTube channel soon. Please use the chat box and the Q&A box for any questions and comments and we'll get to your questions as we go along. So um, let me introduce you to today's speaker, Ms. Jasmine Suiza, just give me a second. Um, who will talk about understanding our genes and mental wellness um, in her talk called Mapping the Mind. We'll also share with you exciting details of our partnership with Life Science Center and there are special perks in store for Manila House members. And we have a special raffle, a little game to play after Jasmine's presentation with a raffle um, with prizes for, for the lucky, um, lucky um, attendees. So let me just introduce um, Jasmine Suiza, she, our guest speaker. She graduated from the University of Santo Tomas, and she is a product service and training development officer at Life Science Center. She has experience working on nutrition education, nutraceuticals, training, and research. Um, Jas, shall I hand over to you now? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Ms. Bambina. Um, let me um, share my slides. So good afternoon, everyone. Again, uh, my name is Jasmine Suiza, um, Product Service and Training Development Officer from Life Science Center. Um, I would like to first um, thank Manila House for allowing us to discuss this afternoon's talk entitled Mapping the Mind, Understanding Genes and Mental Wellness. So ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for our topic for this afternoon? And so as uh, Ms. Bambina said, you can use the uh, chat box and our emoticons. This is Zoom. So let's start um, with our topic. Um, before I begin my presentation, I would like to first um, briefly introduce our company, Life Science Center, or LSC. So LSC was established in 2010 by Romulus Health Group. Um, it is a clinic that aims to give Filipinos access to the best global practices in health and wellness. 
So LSE's care team of doctors, um, nurses, nutritionists, dietitians, health coaches, and or uh, movement coaches and psychotherapists work towards making people live their healthiest and happiest lives. And our healthcare experts uh, guide our clients on how to take charge of their health and take back their life through the functional medicine approach. That um, is an evidence-based systems biology approach to human health functioning and disease. So if you can see uh, my screen, um, functional medicine or FM focuses on biological uniqueness like our environmental influences, our um, genetic predispositions, et cetera, and even our um, experiences, attitudes, and beliefs for personalized treatment plans. Now, instead of focusing on symptoms from an organ-based uh, perspective represented by the leaves of the FM tree that I flashed, um, FM or functional medicine identifies, understands, and addresses the root cause of why disease and health issues happen. So that's why genetics and other factors are found on the roots of the FM tree. And also, this is why functional medicine is called the medicine of the why. So now, in connection to Ellis's goal of making people live their healthiest and happiest life, let me ask this question. How is your health? How are you physically? Do you feel fit, um, sound, or do you feel sluggish? And how about um, your social well-being? Do you still have time to see your friends? Yeah, and so again, you can type your answers using our chat box. Diba usually po, when we're asked, kamusta ang health natin, we always think of our physical health. But if we define health according to the World Health Organization, uh, health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. So given this definition, who among you consider yourselves to be healthy? Yeah, so again, you can use the ano, emoticons natin sa Zoom. You can also raise your hands. Yeah. Um, now, how do you feel about adjusting to the new normal? Are you feeling anxious about returning to work? Or do you feel panicked? Or do you feel unmotivated? And how about, um, ano pong nararamdaman? how do you feel about your children doing face-to-face -face activities? Again, you can um, answer using our chat box. Um, this pandemic has affected not only our um, economies, our healthcare systems, but also our well-being. And the sudden need to navigate this new normal has compromised the mental health of many people. Um, some of the stressors include yung anxiety natin over personal health, other people's reactions, societal health, and economic problems. Bukod po doon, di ba, um, sometimes um, overexposure to the news and social media may also add to our stress. But regardless of um, whether you are excited or hesitant to return to your pre-COVID life, it is important that you take your mental well-being into account. Di ba po ngayong pandemic, we may have heard stories of friends or family members na naka-experience ng anxiety or other forms of mental health issues. And speaking of mental health, did you know that mental health may be influenced by our genetics? So mental health influences many aspects of our lives. It is very important for our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. And when we are mentally healthy, we can manage our thoughts, our actions, develop strong relationships with others, and cope with life's challenges. Historically, mental health um, has been viewed as a function of the environment, lifestyle, and experiences. However, ngayon po nalaman na natin that genes play a role in our mental health. And there are tests that can help you better understand your traits and your overall mental wellness. And today, let me introduce one of these tests. The test that I will present to you is from Genomind. Yeah, so Genomind was founded in 2009 by Dr. Ronald Dozeretz with the vision of bringing personalized medicine to psychiatry. Uh, the laboratory of Genomind ay nasa King of Prussia sa Pennsylvania in the US. 
And then um, specimen samples sent to the Genomind Laboratory are tested in duplicate to ensure 99.9% .9 accuracy. And then yung kanilang genetics lab ay meron pong CLIA or Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments and CAP accreditation, which ensures the highest um, certification standards. And aside from um, the CLI and CAP um, accreditation and certification, Genomind also has awards and certifications from these various institutions. So presenting to you the test that I've been um, talking about, Genomind Mental Health Map. And uh, before, um, to give you an insight on the test, let me first play this short video for you. Feeling overwhelmed? We understand. And you are not alone. Come along. We have something to show you. Sometimes life feels like an emotional roller coaster, and your mind is full of things you can't really explain. We've learned that genetics can play a powerful role in your mental wellness. From traits like mood stability to the ability to focus without distraction. And the key to new insights is inside your genetic makeup. All you need is an expert guide to lead you on your journey. Genomind's newest innovation gives you detailed analysis across the seven core genetic mental health capabilities. And unique insight into your personal mental health map. Built on the latest scientific knowledge about your traits and genetic predispositions, so you can take more informed action on your mental wellness today. Introducing Genomind Mental Health Map, the expert starting point for your mental health. So for our product overview, Genomind Mental Health Map includes the following. Analysis of up to 38 expertly curated genetic variants and their influence on 29 mental health traits. Seven in-depth interactive reports that identify your predispositions across the seven core genetic mental health capabilities. 30-minute expert consult to put your predispositions in the context of your environment, lifestyle, and experiences, and actionable insights and recommendations backed by the latest global scientific evidence. Yeah, and so sa mga next slides, ko po, I will explain further. So the features and benefits of Genomine Mental Health Map include, first, um, being the first genetic test for mental wellness in the Philippines. And it will also help you um, gain deeper insight into your genetic predispositions, um, influencing various behaviors such as sleep, mood, or stress. And it will also provide actions that um, you can take to better control these behaviors. And aside from an interpretation of your results, you will also have access to a consult of your choice. So pwede po kayong pumili between um, life science nutrition consult, life science um, mind plus talk therapy, and life science health check. Um, again, I will further discuss the details in my next slides. So what's cool um, with Genomind um, MHM or mental health map is that interactive view results niya. With this test, you will be seeing this um, colorful heptagon in the interactive reports. So the outer edge of the heptagon shows the seven core genetic mental health capabilities and the words in each slice, bawat Isa po dito, yan. Yung bawat isang slice po na yan represent genetic uh, predispositions in the report. And then each core um, genetic mental health capability is influenced by traits. Yeah, yung traits natin which result from the interaction of our genes and our environment. So the seven um, in-depth reports translate to the seven core genetic mental health capabilities. And each 
report identifies possible mental health predispositions based on your genotype. So a genotype, by the way, um, is an individual's collection of genes. And then for each um, capability, we have specific predispositions. So for example, for stress and anxiety, we have heightened stress, fear and startle responses, worry, guilt, etc. And then for mood, we have um, moodiness, irritability, uh, type A personality, and so on. And also for focus and memory, we have inattentiveness or distractibility, decreased working or visual spatial memory. Ayan, so mamaya po makikita natin yung parts ng ating reports. And then for eating behavior, we have um, late night snacking, emotional eating, um, sweet tooth, fat cravings, and overeating. For sleep, we have night owl or early bird, um, snoring, daytime lethargy. And then for social behavior, we have performance anxiety, sensitivity to rejection, or decreased self-esteem. And then if you're a lone wolf or people person, and if you are trusting. And then next we have, for substance use and habits, increased habit-forming potential, comfortable with risks, um, sensitive to the effects of marijuana. So basically, each capability, they have potential predispositions. And these are the parts that we will see dun sa actual na interactive reports. Yeah, so after taking the test, you will uh, view your reports using an interactive platform. So the in-depth information can be accessed through mymap.genomine.com and then you can um, view it using a desktop or a smartphone. Yeah. And then for the next parts, I will run through the pages that you will see once you access your reports. So when you launch your report, you will see this um, colorful wheel that actually represents the seven different reports. And then the so upper right of the screen, you will also see the menu. And you can also click itong mga menu na to, um, to navigate to the seven reports. Natin. These are the parts of the report uh, that you will see in all of the seven capabilities. So capability, again, yung ating seven core um, mental health capabilities discussed dun sa mga earlier slides ko. Sila yung na dun sa colorful wheel na nasa homepage natin. And then traits, um, each core genetic mental health capability is influenced by traits which result from the interaction of the genes and the environment. And then for the predispositions like this one, heightened stress response. So for each trait, the report will identify if the client has a predisposition based on his genotype. So this means that he is more likely to react or behave a certain way based on his genes. But let's be reminded that environment and new experiences um, are factors too, of course. And then we have new insights and new actions. Um, dito, yung, dito natin makikita yung in-depth information about the predispositions. And kapag kinlik po natin siya, um, we will see the links to studies, videos, diagrams, and others. Yeah, so, so next slides, ko po, we will look at each of them. So once we click the wheel, yun nandun sa homepage po natin. So data will be presented this way, like what I have discussed in my previous slide. So for stress and anxiety, for example, nandito yung predispositions, your genotype, and then um, kung ano po yung mga new insights and new actions that we can take to um, support or improve our mental wellness. So for new insights and new actions, we will see the following information. Genotype-based recommendation, um, brain hacks, when to get help, how to measure, uh, and um, where to get help. So example po ng data na meron dyan ay ganito. So each insight, again, meron siyang link that contains more information like videos, tables, or diagrams to comprehensively explain the report. Yeah. So for stress and anxiety, here are the traits and predispositions. Um, this will answer if you have a tendency to be more reactive than others when it comes to stress or fear or being startled, or do you tend to be um, a rule follower? These are just some of the questions that this capability will answer. And then, so insights and actions, point in parts of the report that will give you the actionable items to support or improve your mental wellness. So one example is 
this um, anxiety test. So, ang tanong po niya, um, over the last two weeks, how often have you been bothered by the following problems? First, feeling nervous, anxious, or on edge. So, not at all, several days, more than half the days, or nearly every day. Yeah, and so on. So, it, um, nilagay ko or inindigate ko na po yung mga links if you want to try yung mga um, tests na included natin. And then next, um, capability is mood. So for each of our capabilities, we will see the same parts. So nandun po again yung traits natin, the predispositions, the genotype, and then the insights and actions. So for mood, um, this capability will answer first, do you have a type A personality? Or are you reserved? Or do you tend to be moody or irritable? Or are you unflappable or are you onion skinned? So this one's very interesting. And then one of the insights and actions include the big five personality test. Yeah, so to take um, the big five personality assessment, rate each statement according to how well it describes you. Yeah, so I have a kind word for everyone. Is it inaccurate, neutral, or accurate? I'm always prepared. I often feel blue. Yeah. And then next for um, focus and memory, um, this uh, will show their predispositions for working memory, midlife brain fog. Again, so who can relate to midlife brain fog? I think I have this. <laughs> so midlife brain fog natin. Or if you go shopping, do you tend to be impulsive? Yeah, so um, it also includes visual spatial memory. This is the memory associated with, um, for example, people who are good with directions and also for visual learners. Yeah, di ba, um, we know people na mabilis silang, kunyari parking lot, alam agad nila yung kung saan nila pinark yung coach and meron namang hindi, nahirapan silang maghanap ng directions, di ba? So dito po sa focus and memory. And then this will also answer if you're predisposed to um, inattentiveness or do you get easily um, distracted. Uh, one example ng insights and actions for fo uh, focus and memory ay yung memory tests. Yan, so meron silang working memory test and then the spatial memory test. And um, if you have time, this one's very um, interesting. Meron, ano po siya? Um, talagang matatest yung ano nyo, focus and memory. And then next, we have sleep. For sleep, um, who among you here are night owls? Like me. You can raise your hands again using our ano, emoticons or emojis. Yeah, and sino naman po ang early birds? Early birds. Or do you have a predisposition to snoring or daytime lethargy? So, diba, who would have thought that these factors are linked to our genes? And then for sleep, um, one of the insights and actions includes sleep disorders um, screening survey. Yeah, so if you're curious to know if you have a tendency to have sleep disorders, you can answer this one, this form. Yeah, so I feel sleepy during the day even when I get a good night's sleep. True or false? I get very irritable when I can't sleep. I often wake up at night and have trouble trouble falling back to sleep. Yeah, or false shock. And then next for eating behavior, um, this will answer if you have a predisposition to skipping breakfast or picky eating, emotional eating, and overeating. Right? Or do you have a sweet tooth? Yeah, so even fat intake and total caloric intake. And for the insights and actions, um, one example is the eating disorder test. Yeah, so how much more or less do you feel you worry about your weight and body shape than other people your age? I worry a lot. I worry about the same as other people. I worry a lot more than other people. Yeah, so you can check the um, test through this link. And then next we have habits and substance abuse. So for this one, um, it answers the questions, are you comfortable in taking risks? Or do you tend to drink more or less alcohol compared with other people? Yeah. Or do you get easily intoxicated? So this insights and actions is for parents with um, teens aged 12 to 19 years old. So information on risk behaviors for parents and teens, we can see here different topics like alcohol and drug abuse, um, suicide prevention, violence, etc. 
And then last um, capability, we have social behavior. So this capability will discuss your genetic predisposition like um, self-perception or reflection of how you think others see you. Or for social perception, naman, are you a trusting person? Or do you have a difficulty connecting with other people? And lastly, um, need for social connection. Are you a lone wolf or a people person? Or do you have a tendency for introversion? Yeah, these are the questions that this capability will answer. So this insights and actions is very interesting. This one's called the Rosenberg self-esteem scale. Yeah. So mga questions niya include first, on the whole, I'm satisfied with myself. Strongly agree, agree, disagree, and strongly disagree. So sa dulo po, papakita niya yung points. And sasabihin niya kung, um, yung, kung kamusta yung self-esteem. And then now, aside from the interactive reports that um, you and your brain trust advisor will be discussing, um, by the way, brain trust advisor is um, a healthcare professional from Genomine sa ating principal sa Pennsylvania. So they will be the one to help discuss your reports. Ayan. So um, aside from the discussion with the brain trust advisor, you will also have access to a printable summary where you can see your genes, your mga genetic mechanisms, your genes, your um, genotype, uh, your predisposition, and the percent of population with that same predisposition. Ayan. So this is about seven to eight pages na lahat ng seven capabilities natin nakalagay po. Ayan. So for this example, mood. Yeah, so for this uh, patient, siya ay predisposed to being irritable and then na magkaroon ng low mood and energy and reserve. Um, I know the reports may seem a bit overwhelming kasi po, di ba, medyo madami yung parts na pinakita ko. But to help you navigate across these reports, again, um, ang isang brain trust advisor who is a trained um, professional based in Genomine, Pennsylvania, USA, um, he or she will make it easier for you to understand what resonates well with your reports. And um, together with your advisor, you can discuss action plans based from your genetic predispositions. And also note that um, your family or healthcare practitioner, if you have, um, pwede sila pong, um, they have an option to join you in the discussion or interpretation. Um, now, to give you uh, more insights on how Genomine Mental Health Map can be beneficial for you, um, watch this short testimonial video. So, you know, the Genomine Mental Health Map was so helpful for me personally, just because it gave me a little bit of validation for my feelings. It wasn't like a, a diagnosis, but it was more of like if I was feeling nervous or anxious about something, there was kind of a frame of reference to why I was feeling this way. For example, um, it said that I am predisposed to feeling nervous when speaking in front of a crowd. And so I've always felt that through my whole life, I've felt that. And I've always kind of just had to force myself out of whatever I was feeling, right? And if I would tell other people about it, they would be like, oh, you know, kaya mo yan, or it's okay, you can do it. But then having this validation that I have this predisposition to feeling anxiety about public speaking um, kind of gave me this validation and sense of ownership over the feeling. And it also gave me like a sense of control that, okay, you know what? This, you are predisposed to this, but it doesn't have to own you. And, and so that's why it was so beneficial and such a powerful tool um, to have in my toolkit, just, just to understand myself better. And I think that it's so much more valid than a diagnosis because you're really looking at yourself, your genes, your own personal makeup, um, rather than have someone telling you um, what you're feeling or labeling what you're feeling. So, yeah, so now if you're ready to get the Genomine Mental Health Map, these are the four easy steps that you can take. So first, um, to prepare for your test, uh, just please make sure to avoid eating, drinking, smoking, gargling, or any dental procedures 30 minutes prior to the specimen collection. So first, um, cheek swab, 
um, this is the specimen that we will collect, um, collected by a registered medical technologist from the LSE laboratory. So next, um, the sample or your specimen will be sent to, Ge to um, Genomines Laboratory in Pennsylvania in the US. And then once um, results are ready, the client or you or your clinician can view the reports online through um, mymap.genomine.com. And then after that, you can schedule a 30-minute consult with the Brain Trust Advisor to interpret your results. And again, um, pwede po na si client lang ang um, mag-discuss with the Brain Trust Advisor, but you can also um, invite your, for example, your relatives or your um, healthcare practitioner. And then lastly, you will also have access to um, a consult of your choice depending on your discussion with your brain trust advisor. So again, um, you have an option between life science nutrition consult if more on dietary changes yung kailangan natin i-modify. And then we also have an option for life science mind plus talk therapy if you opt to speak to a psychologist or a psychotherapist. And then um, a life science health check to talk to a doctor using the functional medicine approach. Yeah, so now um, here are just some of the frequently asked questions. So first, will my report tell me which mental illness or I or my family have? So Genomine Mental Health Map is not diagnostic and should not be used to treat med uh, mental health conditions. Yeah, and then next we have where does the information in the Genomine Mental Health Map, map come from. So Genomind um, expertly curated hundreds of the world's genome-wide association studies or GWAS and candidate gene studies to provide the framework and content for the Genomind mental health. And then next, um, do I need to repeat this test or is there a follow-up test? So since Genomind mental health map, health map is a genetic test, you only need to take it once. Yeah, so there's no need to do a follow-up test for this one. And then does this require fasting or preparation? So Genomine Mental Health Map does not require fasting. So however, um, to prepare for the test, the client should avoid eating, drinking, smoking, uh, chewing gum, flossing, or brushing teeth at least 30 minutes prior to the sample collection. And then, do you have other services on mental wellness? So, Life Science Center also offers tests and services related to mental wellness. So, first, we have Genomind uh, PGX, which is a saliva-based pharmacogenetic test that predicts patient response to psychiatric medications to produce optimal treatment. Yeah, so this one is for ano na po talaga, uh, for patients na meron ng medications for um, psychiatric conditions. And then life science mind plus talk therapy. So aside from a psychologist, you will have access to life science center's care team who will guide you on other facets of your well-being, such as nutrition, sleep, uh, stress management, and exercise that all affect your mental health. And then we have NeuroFit Systems, which is the only brain enhancement program in the country that repairs um, nerve system organization so that the brain can process information more efficiently, addressing the root cause of motor, cognitive, and processing issues. Yeah. So next, how do I avail the Genomine Mental Health Map? So you can avail the um, Genomine Mental Health Map by reaching out to Ms. Rochelle Vicente and Sir J.P. Aguilar through the following contact details. I'll just flash their contact details here. Yeah, so I'm ending my presentation with a testimonial from Kevin Love, a professional basketball player from Cleveland Cavaliers. And he's just uh, one of the many clients who tried the Genomine Mental Health Map. And he said the first thing he noticed was the accuracy. The test has given him satisfaction, but also provides an action plan to work on areas that need more attention. Yeah, so, and with that, I would like to thank you for allowing me to share our newest test from Life Science Center. And again, please feel free to reach out to me or to Sir JP, our key account specialist, for any questions and concerns. And thank you, everyone, and may you have um, a physically and mentally healthy afternoon. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Jasmine. Do you want to 
join me in the on screen. Is it on gallery? Can you turn your camera on again? Thank you so much for that um, presentation. Um, I, I have some questions here. I wanted to ask, um, is there an age, minimum age to do this test? Yeah. Like, can children also maybe be subjected to the test or are they too young or too unformed? Maybe I, I'm not sure. So for this one, ma'am, um, this is a genetic test. Right? So we can uh, push for children. But so life science, I think the youngest na patient that we have is nine years old. The youngest na nag-try ng genomine test. Are you able to share the particular um, situation of that child? Obviously, I mean, their details that are confidential, but why, why did the parents, for example, feel that it was necessary for, or it would be beneficial for the child to do the genomine? Uh, yes. For for this client, mom, hindi ko na ano, yung sa mismong ki, exact na case. Pero I just know the age of that ano patient natin. Okay, and in what circumstances would it maybe be advisable to have the child go do this test? Um, for this one, mom, kasi de ba um si Jeno mind natin um marami tayong facets na yung sa capabilities natin. We have sleep, and then for eating um eating behaviors and then social natin and then all the seven capabilities. So, pwede lahat tayo, even children, meron tayo lahat ng aspects na yun. So, again, we can check yung total um, mental and um, buong well-being ng isang tao. And then, ano po, um, yun po, um, nine years old, LSE, but siguro I can check then if pwede natin makuha siguro yung, ano, yung case ng client na yun, yung bata and then would you have other cases that you could cite where it's been beneficial for somebody? Like you say, for example, Kevin Love, did it improve his game? Or, you know, um, how, how? what are the metrics now to be able to see how the impact that Genomine results might have on your life or your career? So, like, for example, ma'am, dun sa nagbigay ng testimonial, so si Miss, dun sa nagbigay ng testimonial sa video, so nasabi niya na um, mas naintindihan niya or naging siya ng deeper understanding like how, why she's feeling this certain feelings and then nagbigay ito ng validation and then she owned the feelings na bakit siya kinakabahan na mag-speak sa public. So, um, more on validation and mas intindihan niya yung um, reasons why niya nararamdaman ang certain um, emotions or feelings. Okay. And um, do you, can you give a ballpark figure of how much the test would cost? Sir JP. <laughs> Are you able to um, give a ballpark figure? Yes, ma'am. I mean, um, that the results are sent to the U.S. for processing and yeah, to yes. a lab. Yes, ma'am. Uh, together with all the uh, services from the extraction and the uh, the the shipping of the the specimen abroad, uh, all in all, it would cost around twenty three thousand, twenty three thousand four hundred sixty four. Okay, and how long before you get the results? Well, ma'am, on turnaround time po ng results, uh, it would take three to four weeks po, and then okay. uh, upon receiving the the results. Uh, we can, I know, we can set a schedule for the, the client for them to talk with the specialist from Genomine. Okay, and and um, so the twenty three thousand would only be for the test. Does that include the other um, related services to to you know mind mapping, like consults with a life science um, therapist? Are those included? And so what's included, ma'am, dun sa price natin is yung mismong test and then the one, uh, the brain trust advisor interpretation. So the 30 minute um, consult with um, Genomind and then um, one consult of your choice. So you can either choose from nutrition, LS um, nutrition consult and then um, mind plus talk therapy and then also health check with um, a doctor. So you can choose okay. um, one dun sa top. Okay, um, I don't have any more questions coming in. Um, maybe do you want to wrap up a little bit and just kind of, do you have any, you yourself, do you have any personal kind of experience with mind mapping that you can share? 
Um, personally, ma'am, ako hindi pa po ako nakapag-test <laughs> ng genuine mental health map. <laughs> but are there, what about cases that you, um, you know, you've supervised or you um, handled? Are there any especially kind of um, outstanding ones that really, really help the client or the patient? Afterwards. Um, so for life science center, ma'am, ang position ko po is nasa ano kasi ako, sa more research and training. So personally, hindi pa po ako nakapag-handle ng clinical na patients. Yeah. But you say like um, it can also help you like with sleep and everything. How, how would a kind of genetic study help you with, with your sleep patterns? Genomine mental health map, ma'am, it looks into your predisposition. So um, how you are more likely to, um, to react to a certain, ano, for example, the predispositions na kalagay po, heightened stress response, or um, if you're predisposed to being irritable, so or if you're predisposed to um, magkaroon ng mga antag dito, um, focus and memory issues, so something like that. So ganun po. Um, it looks into the gen genes natin. But of course, we have to consider other factors like environment and um, lifestyle natin. Okay, so let, let's take the example of sleep because a lot of people have disrupted sleep, right? Especially with worries during the pandemic. And so what, let's say, can you cite like a specific result of the, of the mind mapping and how you can work with that? What kind of strategies you can, you know, um, integrate into your life to improve your sleep, for example? One example that I saw ano in sleep, natin, for example, um, sinasabi niya if you're an early bird or a night owl, so parang, um, according to your genes, um, night owl ka, so you will work through. And then um, the um, insights and actions na kasama dun sa reports natin, like, di ba po, pinakita ko yung sample natin na report. So, the insights and actions, um, meron doon mga steps on how, you, um, steps that can support and steps that you can take to um, improve your mental wellness or for that um, specific na capability. So, for example, sa sleep po natin, nakalagay doon ano yung steps that you can take para maiwasan na, for example, maging night owl ka or ma-adjust mo po according to your results. Ayan. So, um, yung pinaka-meet nung um, data natin, ma'am, ay nandun sa insights and actions na pinapakita ko kanina mga example natin. Yung mga tests that you can take. Okay. Okay. Um, is anything else you want to, wanted to add? I think um, maybe in, in closing, I just wondered if anyone else had any more questions. Um, Maybe JP, do you want to just um, chime in? I want to introduce you to, to JP from um, Life Science and maybe any questions about consult, consult. Can you maybe share the information? Yeah, yes, ma'am. For the consultations, uh, I will flash the uh, partnership details. So uh, here uh, with our uh, no, uh, life, uh, life Science Center, uh, we offer a uh, life science health management consult, medical consult, nutrition consult, and skin consult. So with this, uh, they have these uh, corresponding prices. And these are all SRP. So being a member of uh, Manila House, you will enjoy 10% discount for these uh, consultations. And then... Not only that, uh, we also provide uh, supplements, uh, especially when it comes to uh, these uh, particular products, uh, bioactive lipids, uh, citramag, magnesium citrate, and then yung, lastly, yung uh, liposomal melatonin sublingual spray, uh, spray 
uh, to help you with your sleep uh, sleeping problems. And then, so here, uh, I will just highlight the uh, Citramag or Magnesium Citrate is from Orthoplex uh, Australia. So this uh, uh, a Magnesium Citrate, that, uh, this, this uh, helps you manage anxiety and insomnia, uh, also helps maintain heart, brain, and immune health. And lastly, to, uh, it is proven to have a greater absorption because of the uh, natu natural na ingredients that are uh, included in this uh, supplement. Next is the uh, bioactive lipids, fish oil. So this comes in a soft gel, soft gel capsule and uh, it is a highly concentrated omega-3 fatty acids uh, that perform key biological functions in the body. Uh, this also lowers uh, inflammation and supports mental health and supports cognitive function and reduces the risk of uh, conditions like dementia and Alzheimer's disease. And lastly, this is the melatonin spray. Uh, this, is a key, uh, uh, this contains a melatonin as a, a key sleep hormone that tells the brain when it's time to relax and sleep. So this can help you overcome sleep difficulties and have regular sleeping patterns, uh, improving mood also and mental health in the process. Uh, here, uh, I will also highlight one of our uh, services. Uh, this is called the Mind Plus Talk Therapy. Uh, this is an effective way to help you understand and examine your feelings, thoughts, and actions so you can cope up, uh, cope with difficult situations. Uh, you may benefit from this therapy if you're dealing with mental health disorders. Uh, it is also helpful for those. It is also helpful for those who need uh, dealing with the following uh, issues like uh, resolving conflicts, uh, relational issues. Loss of, uh, loss of a loved one and medical illnesses, uh, also addressing unhealthy and destructive behaviors uh, during the time of uh, recovery and negative thoughts, even negative. So with this uh, service, you will be able to uh, talk with one of our experts uh, to discuss all of these uh, issues or concerns that, that you may have. So again, uh, let me just um, remind you of the Genomine Mental Health Map. Uh, it looks at the seven core genetic mental health capabilities uh, to get the, uh, get the expert starting for, uh, point for your mental health. So this is available in uh, our uh, center at only around 23,000 pesos. So I, I will just uh, show you another video. Uh, about uh, the mind plus talk therapy services. Um, JP, there's no sound. Oh, sorry. There's no sound. Let me just. Uh, I will try to play it again. Um, maybe what we can do, because the sound's still not coming out, unless it's just me not hearing it. Uh, I think uh, others are also not hearing it. But uh, anyway, uh, it's, all, it's just all about... Send it to us? Yes, yeah, yes. No, Jay, maybe you can send it to us and then we can share it with our with our members. Sure, ma'am. And you can also use that on your social social media posts. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you. 
Okay, so on that note, I'd really like to thank everyone for joining us today, those who are uh, tuned in on Zoom and on Facebook. Um, again, this talk will be up on YouTube in a day or so, and so you can refer to it there, and we will also send it to our members. And um, again, we thank Life Science for partnering with us um, on this occasion, and we look forward to uh, more collaborations in the future. So thank you again for sharing your afternoon with us, and we hope to see you soon. Bye. All right, thank you. Stay safe.